Laser is a form of light energy which has been used for many years to, to do many things. There are many, many different kinds of lasers. But let's talk a little bit about what lasers are. Laser is an acronym standing for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. A laser is light. It's not alpha, it's not beta, it's not gamma, it's not x-ray. It is simply light. Now, I mentioned before there are many, many different lasers. And what makes something a laser is that it can produce a single form of wavelength of light, which is coherent and monochromatic. And so there are three components for any laser. They include a medium, a means by which to excite that medium, typically a Van de Graaff generator capable of generating tremendous voltages, and optics. The optics always consist of a mirrored chamber to bounce the light about, and an aperture or hole on one end to allow some light to escape. However, in the case of the spectronetics laser, this light is then focused by a device known as an optic coupler onto the quartz fiber catheter such that we can deliver it to the patient. The lasing medium, which we use when we're performing laser atherectomy, is a mixture of xenon gas and hydrogen chloride. This uh, mixture is then bombarded by extraordinary voltages, and we get a xenon chloride uh, molecule. And as we continue to bombard with extraordinary voltages, the electrons jump in orbit. And as these electrons jump in orbit, they're circulating in an unstable orbit. And when they do this, they release a packet of light or a photon. And that is how all laser light is generated. It's just in this case, this measures 308 nanometers. So it is the electrons falling orbit. Now, you will hear this laser called the excimer laser which is simply a contraction of the words excited and dimer. And this consists of an inert gas, in this case xenon, and a halogen, in this case chlorine. If this were xenon fluoride, that would also be an excimer laser. So whenever one is speaking of the laser which we're using and wants to be scientifically correct, we should call it 308 nanometer light.